Good morning, friends. Welcome to Bahu Automation Lab once again. In the last uh, video session, we have seen how to launch uh, API demo app in your uh, emulator, uh, Android emulator. And also, we have seen how to launch a Chrome browser in uh, Android emulator to test the mobile sites and uh, to test the app. We have launched API demo app. Okay. We have already installed this API demo app in uh, this Android emulator. In this online video tutorial, we will see how to inspect the elements using APM inspector. Okay, so guys, prerequisite for this video is we are, uh, you have to uh, watch session one and uh, two first, then come to uh, session three. We will inspect the element in the latest latest APM version, uh, like uh, one point twenty two v one point twenty two point zero. In the previous version of APM, and the inspect uh, to inspect the element, you can directly click on this uh, APM inspector icon, and you will it will open the APM inspector in your device in your system, and you are able to inspect the elements. Or otherwise, we uh, we can use the uh, we can use uh, UI Automator uh, to uh, inspect the element in, in uh, APM also, right? But in the latest version of APM, uh, we don't have this inspector available uh, here, and uh, uh, we ca can't directly click on this icon and uh, inspect the elements. In the latest version, the inspector is now released as a separate app. Please visit this APM inspector link. Okay, this is the GitHub link. We have to uh, download this AP API inspector from this GitHub link. Okay, we have already downloaded it in the first and uh, first session actually, where we have downloaded all required software for our EPM automations. Okay, you can download from here. This is the zip file. Okay, just download it and install. Whenever you install this uh, and create a shortcut on the desktop, you have already created a shortcut here. Like, okay, you just need to double click on this EPM inspector icon. Okay, we have created uh, emulator here. We have a um, uh, APM with start on this particular port like uh, uh, 00. Uh, uh, right? We have launched APM uh, demo app through this desired capabilities in the last list, last session, right? We have set up this URL uh, 127.0.0.1.4723 uh, slash web travel slash hub. Okay. And we have assigned these capabilities to this uh, particular remote session. Now we have this APM inspector separately app in the latest version of APM. Now we need to set this remote host first. APM server. If you are you are creating any cloud or particular cloud in your uh, company, then we need to click on this select cloud uh, provide providers app section, and we can choose any cloud like browser stack, uh, uh, browser stack or uh, like uh, uh, source lab, uh, there are lots of cloud available here. Okay, P Cloud, E Testing Boot, and all all these clouds. But currently, we are working with the APM APM server. Okay, custom server, which is we have uh, already created here one device uh, through Android Studio. Right, this is the emulator. So we have to go to this APM server. Okay, and we need to set the remote host here. Okay. You can't do any single spell mistake. It is the very case sensitive, guys. While we are inspecting the elements using the APM inspector, so you don't uh, provide any space or with starting or the end point while we are providing the rem uh, remote port or the remote path or whenever you set the desired capabilities. So first of all, we need to set this remote host path. Okay, it's totally depend uh, like here. We have already set up the here, right? You are so we need to set this 127.0.1. This is the path we need to copy this here, or directly you can type here 127. 127 127.0.0.1, right? So this is the remote host. IP, then we need to set here a remote port. Okay, so remote port here is 4723, right? So we need to set here 4723. Then in the remote path, we need to set this uh, slash wb slash hub. 
okay this is the slash wav slash hub we have to set this here in the remote path then we need to set this desired capability as per the your uh, requirement or which app you want to open or which app you want to inspect or if you want to inspect the chrome uh, you can set the chrome capabilities if you want to say uh, inspect any particular app which is installed in this particular emulator okay we need to set up uh, all these desired capabilities like set capabilities package name set capabilities activities and everything so how to set up that uh, in apm inspector let's say one by one so first of all uh, we need to set up what type of platform we have to inspect okay so platform name here is we have an trading letter right so we have to set a platform name platform name capability and uh, we have inspecting android as a platform so set up here as an android okay it is the ios we need to set up the ios oh, as per the platform name capabilities it is very important without the platform name capability uh, you can't inspect any uh, app or any particular device so first of all set up platform name after that we need to set up a device name okay which device you uh, which particular device you want to uh, inspect which uh, from which particular device which app you want to inspect so we need to set up the app capabilities also and device name also because if there are multiple devices or multiple emulator on this uh, single machine so uh, apm inspector can know on which particular device uh, you want to inspect that right so uh, let's check uh, apm uh, inspector app first of all okay uh, so let's check for uh, device name so how to check the device name uh, just go to the cmd and type here adb okay this is the command right adb devices okay. after that it will return us uh, all the list of devices which is uh, currently running with this adb command right so with this adb so this is one device uh, single device is running right right now so just copy this name uh, and paste it here so device name is this, this particular emulator uh, 5554 right after that we need to set up a capability like a uh, we have still we have platform name is the android right we have an android emulator right after that we uh, have device name emulator 5554 we have reached till this device right after that there are multiple apps in this particular device right so which app you want to inspect so we need to set up the uh, app package and app activity name from this uh, particular device which we want to inspect so app package name is this is the app package uh, we need to set up the capability like app package one more capability we need to set app package and we will set app package name as this one we have already uh, take this app package and app activity from one particular command which we have already studied in the last session okay if you are not watch that session please watch the session second then you, you know how to take uh, get uh, the app package name and the app activity from this device for particular app we'll set app activity now okay here just copy this app activity and paste it here now here we go we have set up particularly remote host then the remote part uh, remote port and then remote path and then the platform name as the capability android device name as the emulator 5.5 Four and then the app package as this API demo and this app activity is like API uh, uh, Android APIs API demo. So here uh, we have a, sing, a simple JSON created for this uh, particular uh, request and it will send a request to through this APM server to to this device and it will um, read it for the in, ready to inspect the element. So let's click on the start session. Okay, so platform name, we have mm, the spare mistakes here. Okay, we need to set platform name. It's very case sensitive, guys. So set up a plat platform name as a property. Then click on start session. 
Okay, it's starting the session. It will work like the same. Here we have some login API file, and uh, we have to launch here API ID now. Okay, wait for some time. Still, the log is uh, done, and here we go. We have API here demo app for instance. The API demo app launched in the device and it's ready to inspect here in the API inspector. Now learn the tabs. Okay, if you have native app, uh, in the this all the tab available in only latest version of EPM. So this is the native app inspector. This is web app inspector. If you have a web or hybrid app mode, you can change the mode here. Uh, if you have we have a native app now, so we will set up this native app. After that, through this command, we will inspect the element. Like we are inspecting the home in Selenium uh, through the inspector. The same inspector is here available. To select the element, you can inspect the element from here. Okay, for this app. After that, if you want to swap uh, by coordinates in mobile view, we have already swapped uh, top to bottom, bottom to top. You have to select this type of uh, top to bottom and you automatically swap your window. Okay. Then after that, we have this tab uh, to tap on particular window, particular section. Like uh, I have to click on this. Okay. So uh, in the mobile view, we can tap or we can click also. So if you want to tap, you can do, do it through this particular. Uh, this particular section so tab by coordinates if you want to do back on the device it will automatically done here okay in the device you just need to click on this back icon and it will automatically back your device section okay it's coming on here again you want to click on uh, this api demo off. so just go here and click on this api demo demo tap on this api demo it will automatically get open uh, if, if you want to uh, refresh uh, the page or the particular uh, session, then you can click on this uh, this icon. It will uh, automatically refresh your session. So this is the API demo app. Will get open. If you want to record the particular session, okay, I, I just uh, just click on this and I just want to click on this app section. So it automatically uh, record your uh, code or create a code to your touch section like you are touch on driver dot tap 193 693 and perform it will change with different different languages like j in your python okay the code will be generated in different different languages like ruby python robot or whatever you want okay whichever uh, command where you are doing the uh, automation in different different languages whichever language you are doing you just uh, select that language and it will automatically generate the code here to record this okay after that if you want to find the element through this id xpath theme and class name accessibility id you can select here and just check whether you are created pass xpath or id is correct or not you can do it through this particular search element search for element section after that you, you want to copy this particular xml of this uh, uh, particular session you can copy this from here and uh, if you paste it in notepad okay all the uh, all the xml will get here like what package name app activity text view actions class and everything will get generated here okay so this is how we are creating and this uh, select the element here like uh, this is the accessibility id this is id of that particular element this is the x path of this element api demo this is the the uh, app source file generated here through this app source file and this or through these commands and through this uh, uh, particular xpath and ids and package name class name we can create a different different types of xpath we will find the elements through this you know, the class through this resource id through this index through this id through this accessibility id we will create your own xpath like a selenium and we will perform automation on this api id model. okay so that's it guys uh, in this session we will uh, we have learned how to inspect the elements in, in using apm inspector this is the quite different different in latest apm 1.22 so guys just download this apm inspector separately and start inspecting setup uh, like this uh, like this uh, to set up a port to set up the capabilities everything and uh, start inspecting the elements so next section is very interesting we'll we'll see in the next lecture how to create a different type of x path in apm uh, latest version how to find the element by using this accessibility id x paths 
or the uh, content based how to create uh, xpath using content based resource ids and everything we will see in the next chapter how to record playback and everything and what is the use of these different different commands and everything we will learn in the next chapter so practice by yourself how to inspect the element in apm if you have any query you can comment out it i will definitely uh, get back to you and uh, we will answer it we'll try to best uh, to answer it and uh, if I, I will not reach out there i will provide uh, my email id in the description box you can connect out me or there also okay so that's it guys that's it in this session uh, uh, let's meet in the next uh, chapter or next session of this video tutorial uh, till time have a great day bye bye take care happy learning happy coding